Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how we can install MySQL server without using Homebrew. If you want to install the server using Homebrew, then you can refer the another video which is available on this channel and you can find the link of that video in the description below. Now to install the MySQL server using DMG installer file, first we will need to open any browser and on the browser on the google.com we need to just search for mysql server download and hit enter then you will get couple of results here among all of those you need to look for dev.mysql.com this link where it is written like download mysql community server just click on this here first you will see couple of options are here first one is the version for the mysql and then the operating system so we'll select uh, the operating system for which we want to install the mysql server so for now uh, i'll keep this mac os then the os version for the mac os so you would see the arm version and the x86 version arm is for those mac systems which are the silicon chip based systems and the x86 is for the intel based system and uh, to check the type of your mac system uh, you need to follow certain steps so first you need to go to this apple icon click on this then uh, you will see this about this mac so i'll click on this then you would see this chip option here so it is written apple m1 so it is the silicon based chip so uh, I'll go with the ARM because uh, this system is MacBook M1. If you see here something like Intel, then you need to go with x86. So for now, uh, because this is silicon based system, so I'll select here ARM. Great. So we have selected the operating system and the OS version. Now let's discuss the important part about the version of the MySQL. We will understand now uh, which MySQL version we can install uh, according to the macOS version. So by default uh, the 8.2.0 is selected. So for this particular version you would see some information. This package is, is for the Ventura 13 and which are also compatible with the Sonoma 14. So let's see what is the version for my Mac system. So again. Uh, you need to click on this apple icon then uh, i'll go again to this about this mac then you would see here mac os which is ventura 13 so my mac system is ventura 13 so for me this 8.2.0 will be supported for my mac system now let's see if your system is uh, not using the 13 or the 14 if you are using the lower version than 13 and 14 then let's see let's select the another version so if i select 8.0.35 then again it is also compatible with 13 and 14 so in case if you are using the older version uh, then we can go to the archive versions so i'll click on this archives so here all the versions you will see here so for this 8.1.0 so, so this is for the again 13 for 13 version you can use this 8.1.0 then if i downgrade the version of my sql so if i select 8.0.34 you would see this is for 13 and which is also compatible with 12 if you are using 12 then you can go with these packages so if you are using lower version than 12 let's see which version you should install so if i downgrade again so it is also required the 13 or 12 then if i select the 3.2 version then again it is supported in 13 and 12 then if i downgrade one more version yes so this is the version which we can use for 12 13 and 11 so like this uh, you can select which version is supported on your mac operating system so now uh, let's go back and uh, I'll download the latest one. So I'll go back to the previous page and here uh, I'll select the latest one and 
I will select the ARM because my system is the silicon chip based system. So just I'll go with this DMG archive and click on download. Here uh, I do not require to log in. This is not mandatory step. So I'll just click on this. No thanks. Just start my download. So this will start the downloading. I'll click on save. So it might take few seconds to download the DMG file. So meanwhile it is getting downloaded. Uh, we will go to the terminal once. So I'll open up the terminal. If I type the MySQL here. So you would see this error. ZSH command not found MySQL. It means currently MySQL is not installed on the system. I'll go back to the browser again. Okay, so it is downloaded successfully. Now I will open up the location where it is downloaded in the finder application. So here it is downloaded. Now I will double click on this to install. So this uh, one pop up will come up which will have this PKG file. I will double click on this. Then this is asking me for the confirmation. So I'll allow this. Then this installer pop up will come up and I'll click on continue. Then again continue. It is asking for the terms and conditions. So I'll click on agree. Then I'll click on install. So it is asking me for the password of the Mac system. So I'll provide that. I'll click on install software. Here we have got the option to set the password for the MySQL server. So I'll suggest to keep the strong password encryption. So I'll go with this and click next. Then we need to set the password here. So I'll set the password here. I'll click on finish. Again, it is asking me for the Mac system password. I'll provide that and I'll click on OK. So it is performing some initial database setup. So it is installed now. So I'll click on close. And for now I'll keep this, but uh, you can just delete this by clicking on move to bin. I'll close this also. Okay, great. So installation is completed. Now we will go to the uh, terminal again. So here if I type again MySQL, still we got this error. It means something is left. So again, I'll go to the finder here. If I click on this go and then go to folder, then I'll type here slash USR. Then I'll click on this and I'll double click on this. Then you will see here local folder will be there and inside that MySQL. This will be the alias and the actual folder, the MySQL and the version which we had just installed. So inside this, if you see the bin folder will be there and inside the win folder, you would see this MySQL. So when I am typing the MySQL on the terminal, so it is looking for this particular MySQL binary file and it is not able to find that because we have not set the path of this current directory in the path variable. So let's see what is the current value of path variable. So if I do echo dollar path, then you would see nothing is present here related to MySQL. So we need to set the path variable for that. I'll first go to the home folder and then here I will look for the ZSH RC file. So for that I'll do ls hyphen la then pipe and grab then ZSHRC. If I look for this, so if you find the file, then you will have to add it in that. For me, it is not present here. So what I will do, I will create the new file. And for that, I will use the VI editor. So I will do VI and because this will be the ZSHRC file, because this will be the hidden file. So I will write this and hit enter. So this file will be open up. Now I'll press the I key on the keyboard so that it will move to the insert mode. So here you can see the file name and when I will press the I key, then you will see the insert here. So I press the I and it has moved the insert mode. So now I can write anything in this. So I'll write the export then path, then current value of path, which is 
this and then colon then the path of that mysql binary file which was inside the user then local then mysql and bin so either we can uh, write the mysql which is the alias or we can write the entire actual folder's name so as you can see here so we can write either this mysql so if i double click on this i'll reach to the same location which is the mysql and the version and this particular entire name of the folder or if i open up this particular folder then also i'll reach to the same location so because this is the alias and this is the actual folder here also you can see this is the alias so i'll go again to the terminal here i have set the path then i'll press the escape button first so that i will move out to the insert mode after pressing the escape button i'll type colon then wq which is write and quit now i'll hit enter so we have set the path variable now to make it work on the current terminal uh, we will have to source this so source then zshrc now if i check again the value for path variable now you will see user local mysql bin is there now if i type mysql then hyphen u the root user then minus p so i am using the root user as the username i will hit enter now now it is asking the password which we had set while doing the installation so we need to type the exact password which we had set there congratulations so we are connected with the mysql server so now we can run any sql command let me give one example so i will type show databases and hit enter you would see some output so it means we have connected to the mysql server and it is working fine so to exit from the mysql server i will just type exit and hit enter this way you can install the mysql server without using homebrew still if you face any issue let me know in the comment section or if you want to install the server using the homebrew then you can refer the another video so that you will find the link in the description that's all for this video keep supporting see you in the another video